If I make a video with a device, it better has the most reflective display you can find. <laughs> Seems to be an ongoing theme with my videos. Anyway, sorry about that. Hopefully that will change once it uh, displays something. Anyway, today we're gonna try something interesting. Um, I want to install Chrome OS Flex. So I personally have never ever used or seen Chrome OS and I don't necessarily like the idea of it, you know, um, not the biggest fan of Google altogether, but I want to try out this operating system. So the difference between Chrome OS and Chrome OS Flex is, um, what is that you can flex with having it? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> no, the, the Chrome OS without the Flex is like the um, real Chrome OS for Chromebooks and you cannot get this official version on regular PCs. However, you can with Chrome OS Flex. It's flexible. What do I know? So what you have to do is you have to go to Google page, you have to sign up with a company. I just entered some random whatever and it will let you pass. And um, then it directs you to a page where you can uh, create the USB. It is pretty simple. You install a Chrome add-on and you create a USB which has to be 8 gigabytes or larger. So I, did, I didn't I did film this step because it was really, really simple in good Google fashion. They also do that really nicely on their phones and stuff. So that was the same here. So I have no idea about requirements. This is an old, uh, my, what is this even like a Samsung from the Windows 7 era laptop. You know, it's an old piece of crap. Nobody wants these anymore. So I decided to, you know, use it for a couple of projects. So this has an Intel processor. Don't ask me which one. It has six gigabytes of RAM and 120 gigabyte SSD. I hope it doesn't have a graphics card because I think that's going to be a deal breaker if it has. But I don't think it has. Um, so we'll try to install it, you know, and see how Chrome OS Flex can, can run on this machine. So I hope it will boot even. I have, I have no idea. All right, I have no idea about the BIOS key on this thing. Uh, well, maybe we'll do it itself. Oh yeah, it's loading in Linux. <laughs> I'm sitting in utter darkness, but it's better for you guys, so here you go. I guess this is somewhat their concept of this flex, like to revive old laptops such as this to be used with Chrome OS. Um, it would make sense, so let's see if it works. And we're seeing a white screen, okay, so it says here shut down, okay, no, no, it's gone. Mm, okay, so either that is some glitches, there are some glitches, or this is supposed to be like this, I don't know, it looks sort of smooth to be honest. We're gonna stick with English. Um, let's see what we can press here. Okay, we have sound, recognize sound network, Wi Fi. It sees the Wi Fi. That is very good, very good. I'm just gonna click get started and see what it will come up with. Install Chrome OS Flex, yes. Oh, it's already checked, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna back up anything. Install it, I suppose this is all gonna be very easy and fast. Installation might take up to 20 minutes. Oh wow, so long. Okay, installation is complete. Guys, that did not even take five minutes. I'm not kidding, this was really, really fast. Yeah, now it's loading from the SSD. Chrome OS Flex. Fan is at high speed. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Chrome OS Flex. Yay. Get started. Network, that's what Google wants immediately, obviously. I'm using this or a child. Okay, no, I'm gonna be continue using it. Now I want my Google account, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Can I, like, not use a Google account on, <laughs> on on Chrome OS? I don't think I can, right? I mean, I can browse as a guest. Let's see what this happened. And I press, whoa! Ha, huh. 
Okay, a little glitch, but we're now we're in. We're in a Chrome browser now. Yeah, I mean, this is literally a browser now, nothing more. Yeah, okay. I mean, that makes it a great, like, kiosk machine that you just put up somewhere and people can use it and stuff. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a thing of Chrome OS here, but... Guys, I think I have to bite the bullet. I think I have to... I have to log into Google. I don't want to. But what does it help? I mean, I'm on Chrome OS. What can I... I signed up for this. But first, I have to do the sacrilege. The savage thing and... Um, try to get into a light mode because... To capture dark mode is... It's not, not good. <laughs> um, let's just see about Chrome OS. No, it looks it looks actually just like a Chrome browser. Just an operating system made around it. Uh, device, no. Can I not even do this? Please tell me I can do this. I mean, this is terrible like this. Don't want to turn on dark mode. I already am in dark mode. The whole world is a dark mode at this time. Uh, tap the clock. Okay. Ah. Okay, it does it. Ah, nice. It does it actually on its own. So when it's um, day, it is light, and when it when when the sun sets, it's dark. I mean, I like that. That's pretty cool. Um. Ah. And so this is like a menu. Looks very Androidy. Um. Here we have the like. I don't know. There are two menus, they could probably integrate this into one, but it's just how they did it in Chrome OS, nothing wrong with that. Let's just see what, what we can do without signing up, but I don't think a whole lot. Um, camera, does the camera work? So far, guys, uh, the computer seems to be working pretty good. Yeah, there it is. I mean, it's got a craptastic webcam, so if I, it works. I mean, there is, you can scan something, I mean. Good luck with this camera, but still. <laughs> I like that. Take all my data, Google. Take it all away. And now it's in German. Yeah, because this is a German account. I mean, that's very smart. I like that they do this, but for the video, it's kind of bad. <laughs> um... You know what, well, let's just sync everything here. This is only like a secondary account, like like not my main thing. Um, oh, here you can personalize. Obviously, we're going to go with bright just for you here. Because dark is cool as it looks. As you can see, hello, here I am again. <laughs> I have to do here bright. Cool, I can use it. Now let's change it back to English. Um, they, here is a little bit of a glitch, like the, those fonts, they're not readable really. When I enter Sprachen, which means language is in English, it doesn't come up on search. When I enter language, then it comes up with Sprachen, which is literally what I previously typed, but then it wouldn't find it. This is like my only problem, the, the, this font. This is the only problem I saw so far. The rest works really, really good. I'm not going to restore anything. Yeah. Modification, screen capture again. We already saw all through here. Um, and now we have all of this stuff. Okay. So what is Explore? I think we already saw. Oh, yeah, that is this. Gmail, well, pretty self explanatory. That's mail. Haha. Uh -huh. We got a little glitch. But once it glitched, it works. Presentation, I guess that's just Google Docs now. Yeah, here you go. Now, I can imagine that um, Google Docs works pretty well here. I mean, I you know, that's the contrary thing. On the one hand, I bash Google and I say I don't like it, and yet I use Google Docs every day on, uh, you know, for work. It's just that, yeah, it's, I have to admit it, a pretty convenient solution. <laughs> um, but you know what? Google Google Docs is pretty good, so I have to give Google that. So I think if you're only gonna work with uh, with Google Docs and like Google Mail and uh, Google everything, then this is the perfect operating system for you. Just 
you can't do a whole lot more really <laughs> it first impression is pretty good i mean i already knew going into you know that this is like a uh, cloud-based operating systems so are not gonna bash it too much for being you know all online and having all the data and stuff i mean obviously i'm stating the obvious but from a like operating system perspective it's a, it's pretty good i mean this is an old crappy laptop it runs very fast so far so using google docs just scrolling through this long ass document here that would never work this good on windows if i use the same laptop on windows i definitely say that because windows is a resource hog and chrome os isn't and so it can focus all its re resources on the you know application which is very nice linux development environment let's turn it on yay here we can make it more useful so it's now installing linux i agree that i welcome that definitely more fan of linux than of google but um so far i like the chrome os oh no was that too much for it <laughs> it just froze up guys and a little glitch and it's back okay let's see if we can watch youtube while installing linux let's go to my other channel here and uh let's watch a video Hmm, can we run an ad blocker here? <laughs> I mean, theoretically, we could. If we ran it in Google Chrome, we can install an ad blocker. And, you know, <laughs> that's kind of sacrilege to do that on Chrome OS, right? But, let's just see. Can it do it? <laughs> it has those glitches here and there. So, it's a bit annoying. It up to 720 not necessary to go higher since this display is only 720p yeah there you go yeah we got some frame drops here and there but once again we're installing linux at the same time and at the same time you run your good calendar and this document so for that alone not bad yeah, now the fan is kicking up and we have a glitch. So this glitch is mm, it's a bit annoying. So yeah, I mean, it's just the maps application. And once again, I'm going to say it. Um, this is probably faster and you more useful now than on Windows doing this. Because this, I don't know why, but this takes out a lot of power of old machines when I do this uh, in a web browser. Okay, now it's popped up my Linux stuff here. Be with you in a second. But here on Chrome OS, it works well. There you go, I can move around here. It's usually very sluggish. Yeah, I like it. That's pretty good. I mean, it's an application, nothing special. So here we have Linux. <laughs> see if we can run some updates. We can. What is text? A te ah, an editor. Okay, so this is like a an editor. Okay, cool. There it is, an editor. Can I save it locally? Google Drive, Linux files or downloads my files. New folder. My files. <laughs> yes, you can actually save something on your device. Imagine that. So I'm updating here Linux. It works just like on a normal Linux system, which surprised me. So I did a little research and here it is diagnostics, which shows you exactly that, what I've been looking for so long. So there you have all the de technical details. A battery, which yeah, it, it's not really great anymore. I don't know why it says battery health 100%. That's really not true. Um, here is it, the Core i3. Okay, so it's even an i3, M350. Yeah, definitely not high end. Um, shows the temperature, usage, this nice animation. Here's the memory. 
CPU test, memory test. Wow, we can run a memory test here. Cool. So, we can install SL. <laughs> of course, that's the most important application, Linux. There you go. That proves that Linux is working, huh? <laughs> we have Linux running. We have YouTube here, which you saw worked okay. Let's try this again. And this is what, you know, you know, this is what it's meant to be doing most of the time, you know, Google stuff, um, stuff like this. So I get the appeal of the operating system. I really do. It's just, it's not nothing for me because I would need so much more software that just does not run on it. And also I don't want to, you know, I want to give Google my whole life because this is centered around Google. So you have to use their services. Of course, you can still use other uh, email and stuff, but then you, you're all working it from the Chrome browser. And what does the Chrome browser do? Well, yeah, but that's, you know, a debate for a whole, for a whole different video. What is Canvas? Okay, so it's like a paint paintbrush yeah sweet there you go <sighs> gonna paint something now for the end here okay gonna paint there yay it doesn't have window snapping oh it does have even has window snapping take that mac os <laughs> well, let's save that can we save this as like a background image that would be insane showing folder so here it is and downloads on, you know, my local, local device set as wallpaper. Here you go. And what more do you want? I made him here this beautiful new wallpaper. There you go, Google. Got, got your new wallpaper here. <laughs> okay, cool. So yeah, this is my little first impression of Chrome OS Flex. What can I say about Chrome OS Flex? Well, it's exactly kind of what I expected. It's, you know, a stripped down, fast and efficient operating system to do Google tasks. And, you know, that's what I expected. So no surprises there. What I'm surprised about is that how well it runs on like random hardware like this, you know, random old laptop, which is not like mentioned anywhere and yet it works so good so i like that i also like that it works with wi-fi i mean bluetooth doesn't work but okay that's not that bad um it works smooth fast i can use everything i've had no crashes but i have this little glitch and yeah i mean i wouldn't use it it's it's nothing for me but i get the appeal and i now know why they are so popular it's just for a particular use case, just for internet browsing or stuff, is perfectly adequate. So if you trust Google with everything, then go ahead and use it. But yeah, what can I say? I like it. It's a good concept um, and I'm glad to try it out. Look, it even has night light. Yay. <laughs> so thank you for watching here and I'll see you in the next video.